Hi, I'm Varun Nair. And I'm Diana Tran, and we would like to inform you about oral cancer. Did you know that this year alone, over 48,000 adults in the U.S. will be diagnosed with oral or oropharyngeal cancer? But if detected in stage 1, meaning the cancer has not yet spread, 5-year survival rates are as high as 85%. However, prognosis becomes less favorable the later the cancer is diagnosed. Therefore, early detection is crucial. This is especially important for people with predisposing risk factors, including gender. That's right, fellas. Men are at double the risk. 70% of diagnosed oral cancer patients are heavy drinkers, while tobacco users are also at risk. HPV and sun exposure are other risk factors. Keep in mind that everyone is different, so get to know your mouth. This video has tips and techniques for a self-exam that's quick, easy, and allows you to be an advocate for your own health. The key is detection. Living with or ignoring changes can delay diagnosis and treatment. Remember, early detection is crucial. Developing a routine ensures you're not skipping any steps. Let's start with the head and neck area, beginning from the outside in. Look directly in the mirror and check for facial asymmetry. Lumps and bumps may indicate swelling in an underlying gland. Place your fingers directly in front of your ear and slowly open and close. Clicking sounds can be normal, while pain or limited opening are not. We can't see down our throats, but we can check the esophagus and larynx by gently sliding our fingers down the front of the neck. The thyroid gland, which is located just below the Adam's apple, should move upon swallowing. Gently grab the gullet and swallow. Lymph nodes are an important part of the immune system since they help filter foreign particles in cancer cells. These structures are a common route for the spread of cancer and are very important for cancer staging. First, check behind the ears. Now, turn your head to the right and feel your left sternocleidomastoid muscle with your thumb and fingers. Now, turn your head to the left and feel your right sternocleidomastoid. Check the glands below the jaw by gently hooking your fingers underneath. Finally, feel under the collarbone by hooking your fingers beneath it. These are especially important for women as they are also associated with breast cancer. A healthy lymph node should barely be noticeable, if at all. If the node is tender, non-movable, or hard, take note of this as they may be warning signs. Now we'll discuss the lips and cheeks. Lips are highly sensitive to sun damage. Inspect both the outside and inside of the lips for changes in color or texture. First, visually inspect the inside by stretching your cheeks. Then, place your pointer finger on the inside and the thumb on the outside to feel for lumps. With cheeks, cancer lumps can be felt earlier before any discoloration is noticeable. Now let's move on to the tongue, mouth, and throat, which account for 60% of oral cancers. Now, check the top and underside of your tongue for any lumps, discoloration, or texture changes. Next, check the sides of the tongue carefully, especially towards the sides of the base of the tongue, as it is one of the most common sites for oral cancer. Check the floor of your mouth by both looking and feeling. Repeat this step for the roof of your mouth, paying special attention to any lumps, discoloration, or texture changes. Check your throat by sticking out your tongue and saying, ah. ah. Congratulations, you have just successfully performed your own self-exam to detect oral cancer. Don't forget, 
you're the one that's most familiar with your body and are in the best position to detect any changes. Oral cancer is often painless, so if you notice something unusual that does not resolve in two weeks, please make sure to follow up with your physician or dentist. We recommend doing this self-exam at least once a month so you can take note of any changes. And if you have any questions, please call your physician or dentist. And thank you for your attention.